President Bacone is now in Brazil, the fourth and final leg of her South America tour. Before departing Chile on Thursday local time, she checked up on Korea's Antarctic Research Station by speaking on the phone to its leader. Our Che Yusun reports. Connecting to An Yinyoung, the head of Korea's Antarctic King Sejong Station by phone in Santiago, President Park Geun-hye acknowledged all 17 researchers' hard work in such unfavorable conditions. The president then asked about the team's well-being. 극한지에서 생활하는 대원들 건강도 걱정이 되는데 요즘 우리 대원들 생활은 어떻습니까? Thanking the government and Korean people for their support, Ahn said they mostly spend the winter season indoors, during which the wind chill drops temperatures to minus 40 degrees Celsius, but that they try to stay fit and active. The Sejong Station, which first opened on Antarctica's King George Island in 1988, studies climate change and organisms' ability to adapt to cold temperatures. A day earlier, Korea and Chile signed a deal to jointly study the Antarctic. 이번에 양국 간의 남극 정책 대화를 개시하게 된 점을 기쁘게 생각합니다. The president then asked An to successfully lead her team's mission and ensure the team return home safely after wrapping up their work. Later on Thursday, President Bach arrived in Brazil, the final stop on her South America tour. Meeting Brazil's first female president, Dilma Rousseff, for the first time, President Bach plans to discuss strengthening their bilateral cooperative partnership and seek more business opportunities for Korean firms in the world's seventh largest economy. Che Yusan, Arirang News, Brasilia.